my people, Judy Austin, she don't carry a witchcraft. Enter Prophet Jeremiah Church. She don't enter the church. And also, she don't enter one chance. My people, make one they listen to this matter. Because it's a very big matter. Una no say you can't mess around with Prophet Jeremiah. He's a powerful man of God. He they give unto them wotu wotu. According to the information, when he reach our hand, we see that our own judge they mind our business. Now we hear that for the media space for inside IG as a the waka pass. They say last Sunday. Now he passed to the pray. Now he tell them say, he get what it happened last night. He was now talking to the member of the church. He said something happened last night too. That he like to share with everybody. He said, I seen they sleep for nights. Before we enter inside this matter, make a fair greet all of Una first because Una are today important to me. I appreciate all of Una. The way Una tell they subscribe, the way Una tell they share, the way Una tell they press the button when they say follow. Now, what now I will give Una now? Is thank you enough? I appreciate all of you. I greet as a lot all of you according to our time. If you are new to Ada Universe and you never subscribe, I beg, press the button when they say subscribe. If you just come across my video for the first time or you didn't watch my video before, you never subscribe on face on the YouTube and you never press follow button on Facebook page. Now what do you they wait for? I beg, do um. Put on your notification bell always so that anytime when I put any program, you go there. I'm not the very first we go see. Her. Make una continue to follow me, they share my video. Make una they like and they leave your comment for the comment station. Make I go back to the matter when they carry me come today. The same way pastor come church on Sunday. Now he can't talk, say. Somebody came to attack him. In his dream, as like it's like physical. But as all of you know it, it's not the first time he's getting attacked. Because it's not everybody that came to the church that came for prayer or to worship or to serve God. Some people actually came to that church to come and attack him. Some people came to try their power on him. And some people came to bring him down, as all of you already do. But Pastor Contox say, or let me call him prophet. He said, but this one was different. The person came in the form of snake. From his neck down was tapo like snake. But his face look like upcoming Nollywood actress. The one they are showing and talking on his social media. That means he did not want to call the person's name. Immediately he said it. Everybody know who he talk. And people start writing it, their name on his comment station when he was doing live. He came to attack him. And he showed him her face. So that... Pastor, we know that it's me. Somebody brought my picture to your altar. Don't do anything to my picture. Don't pray over me. Don't call for me. I am not here for you. I am here for you. So many things. He's going to talk. They curse. For that very night. So after prayer, shouting, 
talking back? Who is this person? Who sent it to me? Who are you? Where are you from? Nasia. I pack my new bag of rice. I never don't hire you. So you don't attack men of God too. But according to Ram, he didn't call it a kind of attack. I don't know how I'm going to put it that he put it. He said he came to show her power because she's too small. So she actually came to show her power just like others do normally do. They'll come and show their power. And he tell us, my dear, you are too small. So on a Sunday morning, Pastor now came back to the church. And he said, there is a picture here. Somebody brought a picture to my altar. Somebody dropped a picture to my altar. One of those people you people dropped on my fire altar. Tried to attack me and came to me in my dream. And everybody will start shaking and panicking. Who, must, who is that person that Prophet Jeremiah is referring to? Who is, what, which picture is that that they drop on the altar? They say prophets go to the altar of fire and he took the particular picture and he brought the picture out to everybody and everybody said, yes, we know her. We know that woman. It's a bakbo. Enugu bag of rice, aka destiny killer, aka the joy killer, aka the home breaker, aka husband snatcher, aka the joy killer, aka the baby mama, aka akpaku, aka akpagari, aka mwani ekwenso, aka Jezebel daughter herself, aka Amosu. That is her. Everybody now recognize her. And the prophet said, oh my God. So this is the woman that collected somebody else's husband. This is the woman that everybody is talking about on the social media. So this is the woman that is doing all these things. This is the woman that is causing pain to her fellow woman. This is the woman that said... He buys somebody else speaking to take the person's husband. This is the woman that is destroying home. Is this the Jezebel? How dare you come to my altar? Who brought this girl to my altar? Nobody stand up. Nobody stand up to agree that she or he is the one that brought a logo bag of rice, the watermelon, destiny and joy killer picture to the uh, uttered of fire. Now, the question prophet is answers that who brought this picture? Yeah. My people, since morning now, since our son they call it today, neither they find the person when he carry the picture. Come, Prophet Jeremiah utter. They don't still bring the picture. Come. Now, we now start assuming something, okay? Maybe it's one of the fans that is angry. Maybe. And he want Prophet Jeremiah to fire her. And the person took the picture and put it in the altar of fire. Or he's one of his family members that want Prophet to pray for her so that she can be free. Mm -mm. I take that person put them for there. So that altar of fire will be burning her. I think it's the fans that is angry, or people we don't deal with, or somebody we don't snatch your husband before or boyfriend from. Because according to what you heard about her, they say right from the secondary school, she snatched people's boyfriend. And later she will dump the guy. But she'll make sure she'll break you with the guy. Because, for example, if you have a friend and your friend snatch your boyfriend from you. You will leave them to go. You will be going out with him. Later, if she dump the guy, of course you are not going back to the guy. So she came and rule and destroy and leave. Now, prophet is sending a powerful message to her. Let this be the first and last you come and try me. 
Let this be the first and last. You will come and try your power in my church. I will burn you. I will steal you like a paper and throw you to the bin where you belong. Don't attack me again in my dream. You are a snake. You are not a normal woman being. Who is this young man that is going out with this woman? This young man is finished. The young man needs to be free. As the prophet begins shouts, they talk, they quarrel, they pray, they curse. Somebody should bring this young man to my church. Somebody has to bring this young man to my church. The young man is finished. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's talking about. This young man is finished. You people have to bring this young man to me. We need to pray for this young man. She, this young man does not know who he's dealing with. He's dealing with a snake. This woman is not a normal woman bill. She belongs to the Marie Kingdom. She's here to buy, to steal, and do it and run away. As the pastor begin quarry. Now, who will bear the cats? Who is going to take you, you, you to the altar for prayer? Who is going to save you, you, you from this woman? All the powerful men of God are beginning to know her. Bear it in mind, Prophet Jeremiah did not invite her. Prophet Jeremiah did not know her. Prophet Jeremiah did not pray for her. But he warned her not to try that thing that she tried that day. You don't, you don't try everybody. Don't, you don't come near me. Don't. If you want to try your power, go somewhere else. Because if you come here, I will burn you. What Prophet Jeremiah wants to do is to free you, you, you from this woman. You, you, you needs to be free from this bondage. Because that woman, where you, you, they follow, is not normal woman. Be. In case some of you don't know, she's not a normal person. The case is actually serious. But you guys think it's a joking matter. It's not a joking matter. All men of God beginning to say it. He's attacking them. He's coming to them. How dare you went to prophet to warn him not to, to, to remove his, his hand or your body. The one with the bathroom is that the person that took the picture there, why can't you boldly come out and say, Pastor or prophet, I brought this picture to you so that you can pray on his head so that our actor, you, will be free. You for come out. These prophets, they don't work like that. They need somebody to stand. They need somebody to stand for somebody as a gap. He has more than, more than one million people that he's praying for. He has a case to attend to. He's busy. He cannot just get up from his house or from his office. He has very serious appointments. Tight, fully booked. There's people that have more problems than you, 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 and you, you, That is attended to. So you're not going to feel just come off a house. Go to find you, 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 to deliver you. No. Somebody has to take you, 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 there. The person that took the picture, they're supposed to stand up and say, Pastor or prophet, it's me that brought this picture. I want you to do this. But I don't know if the person can do that. But why did the person take that picture there? So nobody let me want verse. So some people they verse. <laughs> some people they verse. He actually took that picture to the altar of fire. This is called Otwege Twege. This is what they call complete bonsha. Yes. Somebody was bold enough. They took a picture to the altar of fire. Hmm. And he goes show himself. He show himself to Prophet Jeremiah. I am here. 
My picture is here. Don't dare pray for me. Don't cast me. Don't set your fire on me. She was begging or attacking. How will I put it, my people? When I say, I say anywhere where this woman go, she must show herself. Now don't see her. Now don't see how she did show herself everywhere she go. He just didn't want me prefer to recognize her and say he did it. She not feel hide herself because she believe in that Marie Kidon. She so much believe in Marie Kidon. She so much believe in those things they are doing. She believed too much. My people now, wow. They say it will not be easy. Oh. The way I'm saying this one now, this woman case, this woman case, you see this Akpaku case, it will take by the grace of God, a powerful man of God to pull him out from that woman. Yes. It will take a powerful man of God to pull him out. From that place where he did. They are still praying for it. But they needed somebody. They need somebody. Yes, they need somebody. They need somebody to come and stand at the gap for you, 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 for prayer. Prophet said his life is in danger. They have to do something fast for him and quick. If not, arrest my case. So I bet make share this video so that you go read the family member hand. Please. Thank you.